create content for your beginner self, for your 18 year old self, for your younger self. That's, I think, a great way to make the content more simple, easy to consume. So clarity and perspective is super huge, especially when starting out and growing. Anybody watching here wants to grow on TikTok, for sure. Probably other platforms as well, but TikTok for sure. I feel like we can get paralyzed by what content to make. You know, on YouTube, like a really, really good idea can can do a lot for content. On TikTok though, I feel like I'm I'm hearing way too many conflicting voices where it's like, just think of good ideas and post as often as you humanly can to the other side of like, post the best ideas you possibly can, even if it only means you're posting like once a week. Like where, where are you on the spectrum for TikTok? Um, well, I think in order to um, quote unquote grow, you need to understand what that growth is. So you need to gain clarity on exactly what you want to achieve, what impact you want, what, um, what do you want to be known for? What you want your audience to take away from your content? Because, um, for some people it's just, you know, to get a couple thousand followers, make an impact on a, a small particular specific niche for others. It's, uh, you know, do entertainment pranks really grow and get that millions and millions of views. So I think it starts off with clarity. Um, and one of the best ways of, of, of really gaining great clarity that anyone could do is what I like to do is, is, is develop content principles. These are like your, your, your foundation of really what you want to be known for, what you want to provide your audience and really what you want your content to, to, uh, be around, uh, to, to give you kind of an example, my content principles are to inspire people to become creators, to show how to grow and make money and, and, and to provide valuable TikTok tips. These are just like one liners to, to really outline really what you're creating content around, what impact you want, what, what you want to provide your audience. Um, and so that way it's not only easier for you to create content because you know exactly what you're doing. And especially when you get in these creative ruts, you can just look back at these creative principles and be like, okay, I'm trying to inspire people to become creators. Um, but also it, it, there's a consistent message an impact in your content. Whereas if one video comes across someone's random, a random for, for you page and they like that video, they scroll to your account and they're expecting more of that, that content. And if there's more of that content, which, you know, it, when you, when you're creating a video, you're, you're running that video through those content principles. And if it falls in lines, you, you create the video, then you have that consistent message. People are now watching those other videos, interacting with those following you. And that that's, that's really going to, give a huge sign of the algorithm that not only did that random video perform really well and that out and that algorithm is going to give it more exposure, but your content is, is, is consistent. It's, it's valuable, it's working. And so it's going to push out that algorithm a little bit more rather than just watch time. Watch time is, is just a, a small portion of what the algorithm looks at. It looks at what the viewer does after it, after they watch your video, do they like it? Do they comment? Do they share it? Do they favor it? Do they go to your account and look at other videos and how much watch time do you gain from them going to your account? All of that is um, what the algorithm looks at to see if they should push your video out to more people or not. And then from there, it's really just, you know, trying new things, looking at your, your niche, uh, looking at other creators in your niche, um, developing new ideas and styles and kind of just getting a gist of how people are creating content, what the audience is looking for. I think another huge portion of, of growing on TikTok rather than clarity is perspective, uh, having perspective of your viewer, who they are, what they need, what they want, how they're feeling, what they're doing while they're watching your video. And most importantly, how they would like that value that you're talking about in your video best articulated for them to consume it. Not a lot of people think about this, you know, and, and, and the good thing is, is that a lot of people are creating content around something that's already involved in their life that they're doing. And so now it, it, it's, it's a lot easier to gain that perspective because you were a beginner in whatever you're talking about or whatever you're doing, right? Uh, for YouTube, for TikTok, for finance, crypto, for cooking, whatever it is, you were a, a beginner. And if you're giving tips or, or hacks or whatever it may be to beginners, create content for your, you know, beginner self, for your 18 year old self, for your younger self. Um, and, and, and that's, I think, a, a great way to like, make the content more simple, easy to, to consume. Um, so clarity and perspective is, is super huge, especially when starting out and growing. I like that a lot. I have like a dozen questions that came up as you were talking. Um, but I think I'm two of them, two of them, I think are really important. So one, 
you started out with like, Hey, here are the three things that I want my content to do. And so you kind of had this idea of the impact you wanted to make, but it wasn't necessarily like this avatar where you have this person in your head where it's like, you know, Jamie, who is 22, who like this very distinct person, which I recommend people have, but then later on you did touch on how you need to understand who your viewer is. So in your mind, like when you're creating content, are you taking these three things and then applying them to like a very specific person you can see in your head? Or are you taking like, I know what my mission is and I, I kind of have somewhat an idea of who my audience is. It's not super specific, but I just know that these ideas need to be applied to this group of people. I know that yeah, doesn't so, sound like a big difference, but yeah, yeah, this is a great question. So, um, so, so, so the principles are really the, the macro, it really like really the overview in the foundation of the content. And then in terms of like that imaginary person, uh, that avatar, that's going to differ per video, you know, cause every video objective is going to be different. If you have, uh, take my content for an example, if I'm trying to inspire someone to become a content creator, um, they have no idea of, of, of what, you know, how to create a video or, um, what the magnitude of, of TikTok can do for them. Whereas if I'm talking about monetizing, I'm catering to the people that are already creating content that already get a gist of, of, you know, uh, interacting and engaging with people. And now I'm just really teaching and, 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 um, providing what I know about monetizing. So it, it differs. And so that's a good point is like, um, with every video, have a video objective, like what you want your video or what do you want your audience to take away from that video? And then I want you to utilize every single second in your video, uh, to, to convey that point and, and, and don't waste a single second that that can be replaced with new value. And the reason why I say new value is because a lot of people just repeat themselves. Um, but also have that imaginary person that you're talking to and talk as if you're just talking to that person. Don't talk as if you're talking to the masses, because I know if you watch TikTok or anyone else listening or watching this, um, if you watch TikTok and someone says you guys or everyone or, uh, hey, got, you know, like speaks to the masses, you feel like a small fish in a large pond and you don't get that personal connection. You don't get that value and you don't get that the, the full dopamine hit, which which is what people are on TikTok for. And you have to be uh, you have to be aware of that, too. And so it's really just how do I give them that dopamine hit while still hitting my video objective and providing the value that I want to provide. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Cause it is when I think about YouTube and I've, I've been on two calls in the past two days with creators that both have over 400,000 on YouTube. And so I've learned a lot. And so I'm thinking through this because my process has always been, I have an avatar. So it doesn't matter if it's TikTok, it doesn't matter if it's YouTube. I have one person I'm thinking of, but what I'm realizing is that doing that solves a problem or provides value for a, an incredibly specific group of people, which is good at the beginning on YouTube because I can be found on search, but after a few thousand subscribers, like if you're not broadening into a group, you are pushing away more people than you're bringing in. So I find that interesting that for you, especially where you're at on TikTok, you have a large group. So it's, you have segments of groups. And so you're creating content for a bunch of similar people but they are different. They are in different stages. They're different places, but you have your macro, your main mission of like, this is what my content will provide. Um, I yeah. feel like that's really interesting. 100%. And, and, um, TikTok's a little bit, you know, obviously a lot different than YouTube. Every video is judged differently, you know? And, um, and I think it's super important to have like broad niche content and niche specific content. So, uh, what I mean by that is, and it's the same thing with YouTube too. I'm starting, I, I see YouTubers do it all the time of like evergreen, you know, very broad content of like how to invest, like, uh, how to invest. And then they get into particular, like, um, how to look at balance statements, you know, that's mm -hmm. specific and yeah. same thing with TikTok. It's like how to inspire people to become a creator and then how to, uh, add a particular sound to a video, you know? So, so you have to have those kind of pillars. Um, it, that's super crucial to bring in different audiences, more reach and exposure and to have that like top of the funnel, get to more people. And then you're really like nurturing them. And then, you know, to the point to where when you start monetizing, you're really building that trust with that specific content. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's super interesting, but yeah. Yeah. I like that.